Hello everyone. Uh, in the previous video, uh, we spoke about the weighted moving average, and uh, now we will talk about the exponential smoothing, another type of averaging method for forecasting. Uh, so basically, in this one, what we do is we take our previous forecast, and then we add some weight to the difference between our actual value and then forecasted value. What I mean by that, I'll just explain everything. So let me just redo this whole thing. Copy it down, because it's already written. Okay, and I'll just copy this too, instead of rewriting it. So we understand that we have the data for our periods from up to 11 and we would like to forecast the 12th period so we could begin with naive forecasts or we could begin with uh, average weighted uh, moving average or weighted moving average anything it's up to us let's so let's start with the naive okay so so in this one we take our previous forecast but we have to also choose a smoothing factor an alpha like before that what do we want our alpha to be we could choose any alpha it has to be between zero and one or if you wanted to put it in percentage from one zero percent to a hundred percent okay but if you want it to be in fraction form okay let's just keep it in fraction we want to have a, a alpha of 0 0.5 all right we'll use that okay we take our previous forecast and then plus the alpha and then multiply it with the difference or error uh, between our actual value minus our previous actual value minus our previous forecast and then enter okay if you're going to use Excel, uh, the alpha, which in this case is F5, I have to make it uh, constant. So I have to put a dollar sign because otherwise if I drag this down, uh, it will try to calculate a value here, which there's nothing in there, All right? There you go. Now we could drag it down all the way here and we will get our value. And if I click this, so you can see that it's in a sense it's moving and that's here, it's staying constant. Uh, we could also calculate the error between our actual and our forecast. So you could designate that uh, you can write it as error or you could also write a small e which means the same thing it's basically the difference between your actual and your forecast we always want the error to be as low as possible in later videos I will explain other types of uh, errors that we calculate which is mean absolute deviation MAD MSE mean squared errors and MAPE mean absolute percentage error uh, in order to test which forecasting method is the best for us okay so that's uh, basically it for this one however if you would like to graphically see it I've already made this in here and the alpha like we are, we are choosing the alpha here the higher alpha you choose the more responsive it is to your actual demand it kind of like imitates your actual demand you see the black line here is our actual demand so if I graph it here in Excel you could see it like that and if I have a, an error a smoothing factor an alpha of 8 see it's more closer to the actual one so you see when I increase it it gets closer to that when I decrease it, it gets more smoother and smoother. See this one? And that's for alpha 4. Like if you have like an alpha of 4, uh, if you choose our alpha to be 4, 0 0.4, sorry, a 40%. However, if you want our alpha to be smaller, it will be more smooth. You see this? And if we want our alpha to be 
higher, it will become more responsive to any changes in our actual value. So it's up to us to choose whichever we want. Okay. If you want to learn how you could do it like that too, it's, it's not that difficult. Um, what you need to do is you need to select your actual demand and your forecast, the two of them. And then you could go to insert and then from here you could choose this, okay, line, uh, this one, the 2D, the 2D line with markers. And there you go. And you would also want it, because you see we have a lot of extra space, so we could double click here. All right, let me just bring this on this side so that you could see it. Now we could choose our values to be, so if we see we don't have any values uh, less than 35. So we could choose our minimum to be 35 and maximum 50. In that case, now let's see. See? Now it's the same as I had made it there. And if we play around with the alpha there, it will also change. 0 0.9, see? Or 0 0.1. So the smaller you choose your alpha, your forecast would be much more smoother. However, if you choose a higher alpha, um, your forecast would be more responsive. If you choose one, it would be exactly as your actual demand there. Okay, it will fluctuate, but it will lag a little bit behind because you see it's coming, that's your actual value and this is our forecast. Uh, that is pretty much it for exponential smoothing.